Question 21. Calculate 8.6, subtract 3.75. This will be nice and easy if we make sure we use a column method. So, first job is, because it's a subtraction, the biggest number has to go on the top. And obviously, 8 point something is bigger than 3 point something. So, we've got to have 8.6 on the top. Okay? Now, we've got to make sure we line up the decimal points. So, we might as well put the point in underneath first. Now, there we go. Now, the 3 comes before the decimal point. So, that's going to have to go underneath the 8. And the 7 comes after the decimal point. So, that's going to go underneath the 6 and it's 3.75 so we'll just pop the 5 on the end there now then let's put the column headings in to make it even more obvious before the decimal point is always units then you've got your point after the decimal point is tenths and the one after tenths is one hundredths so we've got eight units six tenths and no hundredths now if there's no hundredths it might help us to put a zero in there to fill this gap in with it a zero so at least we know that 8.6 is the same as 8.60. 8 units, 6 tenths, and no hundredths. Now it's all nicely lined up. We need to start getting ready to actually subtract this. So you always start at the end column. So we've got 0 subtract 5. You can't do. So you need to borrow one from the 6. Go to the next column, which is a 6. Cross it out. And because we're borrowing one, that now becomes 5. And the one we borrowed turns this 0 into 10. So now we can do it. 10 take away 5 is 5. Now onto the tenths column. 5 take away 7 we can't do. So we go to the 8 and borrow 1. Borrow from 1 from 8 and it becomes 7. And the one we borrowed turns this 5 into 15. 15 take away 7 is 8. Now onto the units column. 7 take away 3 is 4. Now, before we go and write 485 in here, let's remember that decimal points have got to be lined up. So if there's a decimal point in between units and tenths in the question, there's got to be a decimal point between units and tenths in the answer. So the decimal point needs to go there. So the answer is definitely not 485. It is 4.85. There we go.